بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از اسد یعقوب اینڈ ونس اگین ہیئر آئی ایم ویب پروڈکشن ویڈیو آن نائنتھ مارچ آئلس ایگزام اینڈ فورٹینتھ مارچ آئلس ٹیسٹ ناؤ دی آر گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹو ٹیسٹ اینڈ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو جسٹ ٹیل یو وٹ سارٹ آف کوشچنس آر گوئنگ ٹو بی دیئر Let me tell you, this is just not a prediction video, but also a guideline video, how to prepare, what to prepare, what sort of things you need to look at for your exam and all that stuff. So let's take a start with listening. Uh, all right, for 9th March especially, and then the next test is on 14th March, uh, we are having this test date here in Lahore, uh, Islamabad as well. So on 9th March especially, Uh, the questions which they are going to give in listening, you don't need to worry about that. They are the same type of questions which are being repeated in the last couple of months or which have been repeated in the same way in the last couple of months. So for section one, chances are, let me tell you, this is just a prediction video. I'm not sure short about it. I don't have any source that tells me what will happen exactly it's basically a prediction plus guideline video so that you could take the exam easily as far as listening is concerned part one is going to be sentence completion right so there can be some uh, sentences there can be a table i mean it's going to be a completion type of sentence and it can be one word only and or a number one word and or a number or it can be no more than two words or no more than three words but remember according to the latest pattern in sentence completion or in any completion task in any uh, filling task where you got to fill in the blanks fill in the table fill in the notes and all that they are commonly they are giving one word only sometimes they say one word and or a number so in section one it's going to be like that Now about section 2, I'm in two minds because you know section 2 has got two parts. Either there can be a map or there can be multiple choice. Because you know uh, map is also very much in. In the last test there was a map as well right in some areas. So there can be a map along with multiple choice. So you need to prepare for map and for map as I told you 1000 times learn the prepositions of location. prepositions of place, directions, how to give directions, how to ask for directions and all that stuff. That is actually quite important. Section 3. Now, let's talk about section 3. <laughs> section 3 can be uh, either it's going to be multiple choice or there can be any other task where you have to, and you know, by the way, multiple choice has got two, three types. Sometimes there are three options, you got to select one. Sometimes out of five, you've got to select two options. So there is going to be any task like that in IELTS listening section three. But let me tell you, section one is going to be quite easy. Section two is going to be as per the normal routine as, I mean, the normal level of difficulty, not very difficult. But remember in section three, or section four out of these two sections one section is going to be tough uh, maybe section three is going to be difficult and section four is going to be easy in section four again they can give you a complete uh, sort of uh, table there will be some information sentence completion sort of information and you'll have to do it uh, either there will be 10 questions of the same type or there will be four questions of one type and six questions of another type again i would say please focus IELTS official guide there are eight listening tests in IELTS official guide you must take those tests because they are the latest ones along with that you must practice from IELTS trainer for listening actually take all the listening tests from IELTS trainer they will actually help you if you prepare from IELTS official guide and IELTS trainer and you do these tests very well you will have no trouble in your IELTS test on 9th of March and 14th of March now let's go on this is all about listening but again I tell you Cambridge IELTS books 1 to 13 you need to take tests from there as well book number 12 and 13 they have some difficult listening tests so you must take some tests from there as well now let's move on to reading academic IELTS reading 
Now, as far as academic IELTS reading is concerned, there is no doubt it is going to be tough. Now, I don't know whether section 1 is going to be difficult or section 2 is going to be difficult or section 3. By the way, section 1 starts, it's quite simple because, you know, this is how they, they structure the test. Very simple, like uh, they started uh, an easy one, then a little more difficult and the most difficult. So, section 1 is going to be fine. But in section 2 or section 3, there can be some sort of uh, passage which can be a little tricky. Questions can be tricky or passage can be tricky. So again, I would say the same type of passages are there in IELTS official guide along with IELTS trainer. These do, two books are must. I mean, those who want to escape any trap, those who want to avoid any risk, they must prepare from IELTS official guide and IELTS trainer. These two books are must for you. I mean, if you don't want to take any risk, it's not that you say I prepared very well, but the test was difficult. If you prepare from these books, then even if the test is difficult, you will be able to cope up with that very test. And this advice is for those who are looking for seven or seven plus bands. In reading, the question types are going to be same. In section one, there is going to be sentence completion. There is going to be uh, true false not given, right? Then in section two, as it proceeds, there can be questions like uh, list of headings. Uh, list of headings usually comes in section three, but it can be in section two also. Focus list of headings. And when there is list of headings, read all the questions of that section very, very carefully. Then after list of headings, there can be multiple choice type of question, sentence completion, short answer question, yes, no, not given. In every test, they give you around five to six type of questions. So it's going to be out of all these types, like, I mean, the most common types which are repeated uh, in IELTS test, they are true, false, not given, yes, no, not given, sentence completion, short answer question, multiple choice, list of headings, matching. And the good news is very recently, I have made very good videos on academic reading. Please watch all the videos and you'll be fine. You will have no regret in your IELTS test. And once again, IELTS official guide, IELTS trainer. Now, let's go on towards uh, writing. As far as writing is concerned, writing task one, report writing. This time, I don't know, I just have a feeling report writing is going to be a little unusual, a little, not too much. So there are two types of graphs. One is comparative graph and one is graph with a trend. Although diagrams can come as well. I mean, there are some diagrams. There are two things. One is maps and one is a process diagram. So you need to pay attention to uh, map and process diagram, but two are most important. One is a uh, comparative graph and one is a graph with a trend. Now, when there is a graph with a trend, they give you the time period from 2000 to 2010. And when there is a comparative graph, they only give you one year, the data of 2010, the data of 2015. I have got a complete uh, uh, playlist on my channel on uh, academic IELTS writing task one. There are 23 videos and those 23 videos describe comparative graphs, graph with a trend, maps, process diagrams and all that. There are sample reports as well. So you must watch all those videos because it's going to be something like that. But let me tell you, it's going to be simple. For report writing, graphic information is going to be simple and easy to understand. And by the way, for graph with a trend and comparative graph, they can be anything. It can be a bar chart. It can be a table. It can be a line graph, right? Bar chart, table, line graph. Or, or anything similar it, it, is, it is going to be, right? Now, going uh, towards essay, <laughs> okay, you know, all the time you are thinking what sort of essay is going to be there and all that. Remember, there are uh, three essay types which are repeated uh, in IELTS test. The first one, uh, the first type is opinion essay. The second is discussion essay and the third is a double question essay where they ask you two questions. So this time also, don't worry about anything. The topic is going to be simple, to the point, easy to understand, right? And the, the type of essay 
it's going to be either opinion essay or discussion essay but as you know IELTS is conducted all over the world and you guys watch my videos all over the world so that's why I would say you must prepare four type of essays opinion essays discussion essays then we've got a double question essay then we've got problem and solution essay and we've got another type advantages disadvantages but anyways opinion and discussion they are the most important you need to prepare them after that as far as speaking is concerned i can't say anything but try, try to go on my other speaking videos where i've shared the latest questions if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to send me your feedback about the test send me what came in the test and then i'll make a video and i'll name you in that video as well if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel i also teach ielts online if you want to join my online ielts classes you can contact me for that along with this i also offer online ielts writing correction service so online ielts writing correction service is where you write your essays and i'll check them and uh, where you write your reports where you write your letters and i'll check them and i'll give you my feedback and it's a live session i mean you and i will be live will be connected through whatsapp call or through a skype call you will send me your writing on whatsapp you will write an essay you'll write a report or letter take a picture send that to me and then you will read it and i will tell you what sort of mistakes you have how you can improve it and i'll also provide you the study material for improvement in your writing module along with that i also test your speaking module and i tell you where you stand and how you can get a better bench score so if you want to join my online ielts writing correction service you can contact my whatsapp number for that as well asad yakub wishes you all the best with his sore throat i have a candy over here take good care of yourselves allah hafiz <laughs>